Now in this example we've got the two slits and they have a distance D between them and then we have a screen that is a distance L away where L is a lot bigger than D. So if this is the line straight ahead we are making rays go up to a point P. And we're going to call each of these angles theta. Now we also have the distance y is 1.8 centimeters. So the things we know we have a distance is 0.15 millimeters, L is 140 centimeters, lambda is 643 nanometers, and we have Y is 1.8. So firstly we want to find the path length difference that they've labeled delta there. Then we have to express that in terms of the wavelength. Now we know that our delta, which we've also written as delta L in some of the text, is d sine theta. So we need to find theta. Now we know that tan theta equals y over L which is 1.8 centimetres over 140 centimetres, which is 0.1286. So we get theta is tan to the minus 1 of that, and that gives us 0 0.737 degrees. So now we have delta is 0 0.150, which is D, sine of... 0.737 and that gives us 1.93 by 10 to the minus 6 meters and we'll continue over the page. So in part b we want delta over lambda 1.93 by 10 to the minus 6 over 643 by 10 to the minus 9 and that is 3. So that means the path length difference is 3 lambda. Now since it's a whole number of wavelengths, P must be a maximum where constructive interference is happening.